everyone, my name is Alex and I work for Innovation in Ireland. Uh, in today's short video, I'm going to walk you through the different steps and how you can configure uh, the layout of one of your courses that you're going to create. So as a teacher, uh, as a manager, you have a lot of control of, of the layout and design of your course. All right, so let's go through the different steps. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new course here today click on the three dots at the top and the top right. Now the first thing you need is a, a course name. So we're going to give you an example of English course example one. At the next part you need a course short name. So uh, th this is the course name that will come up in the search bar. So we're going to say level level 1a and then you want to put your course into a category so what I'm going to do today because uh, it's a demo I'm just going to put it into my demo courses a category so it'll sit nicely in there at uh, the next part then you can choose uh, your course visibility you have a couple of choices y you can hide it uh, until the time where students have maybe finished another course and then you can reselect it to show the course uh, and then they can preview it and, and then join that course uh, you also want to select a start date. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to select it maybe for the 28th at 9 o'clock in the morning. And to finish this course, uh, it's going to be a one-day course and it must be uh, finished on by 9 o'clock that, that, the next day. Uh, so that, that way you can decide, you can show it you can show your course so the students can preview it or maybe you could hide it and then until such a time you can show it and, and then the students can try to join that course when it is available. And there is a place for a course ID. Um, of course this can line up with your brochures or with your advertising um, where the students find that particular course code. The next thing your course needs a course summary. So this is the part um, where your students can look at, even before doing the course, a little preview of what to expect in the course. So for example, you will learn about grammar and questioning. So let's go with that, for example. And in this part, you can also add images, files, sound bites. So just for uh, demonstrative purposes, what we're gonna do, we are going to add maybe a little image and you can upload that and describe it for people who are not very accessible such as ourselves so let's just say a blue logo might help them out and then you can also adjust the size and so let's make it a little bit smaller to suit us and that's it it goes right in there you can also have a course image uh, it could be anything you like um, for example, here is an overview of like a French course. It could, you could have a landscape image um, and, and lots of different um, screenshots even within within the course itself. The course format is up to you. Um, you have lots of control what you want to do. The most common and typical format is um, the topics format. So here we would have like four different sections. Um, again, you could adjust that. Maybe you just want two. Uh, let's st stick with three at the moment here. And then also, for example, it could be just a simple SCORM format where you have a, a SCORM file on it or a social fo format where it's like a, a message board uh, where students can comment uh, on the different activities uh, on it. Also, weekly um, it could also be your format where one week you do course one, course two next week and so on uh, like that. Uh, but let's go with uh, topics format, which is the most common one. And then your appearance, uh, you can have a look here. Um, there's an announcements part on the course that will be at the top. Um, maybe we'll keep it at three announcements maximum. But if you were to select no announcements, then you could just go ahead and delete that announcements part. But it's good for keeping students up to date and to let them know what's coming uh, on that particular course and when it's due. 
uh, file uploads and maybe parts of your course you could have a um, PDF of a book maybe it's a video they got a review uh, it's it's all um, it's all right here and you can limit the size uh, of, of what you can upload or what the students can upload maybe it's their homework uh, or group work as well you can also track your students as uh, check the progress um, I like the role uh, renaming uh, feature so maybe you don't want to call your manager a manager role maybe uh, students working together maybe they are just leaders uh, maybe your teachers are tutors and uh, maybe your students are just uh, maybe they're little kids so uh, it's a nice little feature and another feature that you can just personalize and configure your course the way you like and tags you can put in different words common words associated with your course that will make it very easy for students to find your course when they're searching it with the search bar and all you got to do then is just save and display and and, and that will bring up your different uh, topics so there you go English course example one and um, we have three different topics and thanks for coming to my demonstration today I hope it was helpful for you my name is Alex and I work for Innovation Ireland uh, you can check us out on innovation.ie I will be more than happy to help you with any questions you have take care bye bye